dark art featuring Scarlett Johansson. There's been a lot of questions around the YouTube community on how to do dark art. So this tutorial is a reveal. It's kind of like breaking the magician's code. I'm going to show you how to do this because it's so simple. First, what I did is I went and Google searched, as always. Google's my friend. I love it. I Google searched for Scarlett Johansson at ExtremeWallpapers.com, as you can see in the lower right-hand corner. If you follow my other videos, you know how to get rid of that, Shameless and we'll get rid of it in this tutorial. So I made that image black and white, and then I Googled for cracks. And you can get any sort of cracks, mud cracks, ceiling yes, cracks, man. cement cracks, any cracks but the crack of your ass. No cracks of your ass, please, no. Alright, now what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to take those cracks and you're going to do free transformation. It's edit, free transform, and then you're going to want to drag that to cover a face. There's a few things that you can cover a face with. Normally I don't recommend cracks, but for this video I do. Just for this video. Alright, so now hit enter. And then we're going to turn that layer to a color burn. Now a lot of times you can change the layer to an overlay, but the color burn pretty much does all the work for us without having to do overlay and change it to a bunch of different colors. Just do color burn for now until you learn how to do it. And then what we're going to do is we're going to grab the erasing tool and we're going to erase all the spots that we don't want those cracks. Don't want no cracks. So I picked her hair and obviously the white areas. I want the hair to stand out more, the eyes to stand out, and of course those lips. There's a few things I could think to put in those lips, definitely not cracks. Well, alright, so, after we do that, we're going to grab the paintbrush tool and we're going to paint in all the white. There's much easier ways to do this. This is just to give you a brief idea on how to create this dark art. It was a lot of fun making this video. Not a lot of fun doing the voiceovers. If you've seen my other videos, you know I struggle with voiceovers. You suck! So forgive me, but I don't care. Alright, so now what we're going to do is we're going to grab the burn tool. And we're pretty much just going to burn the whole image. And almost everything should be completely burned. The hair, burn the cracks, burn the mouth, the curves, everything. Everything! Do it! As you can see, it's, it's coming to life. It looks realistic. As realistic as cracks in the face can look. On the cheek, if you notice the extreme wallpapers was still there. Don't sue me! I grab the clone tool, and if you hold down the alt key, you can take a snapshot of the area. So you take the snapshot, and then you just color right over it. It's real simple. You can pause the video and try it out. If you grabbed a copyrighted photo like me, I'm pretty stupid, but that's cool. Money, I don't money, plan on selling money, this and making money. tons of money. If I could, money. I would, but I can't. So, like I said, burn the image. It's going to make the hair stand out. It's going to make everything look great. From here on out, just let your artistic genius flow all over her face. As you can face see, I gave her face. tears of blood. Scarlet. I love blood! I love blood! Yay! Blood! Anyways, if you like the tutorial, feel free to subscribe to my channel or check me out at artistofapathy.com. Music's by Nox Arcana, Twilight, and not that pussy vampire, Edward, you let me down. <laughs> Team Jacob for the win!